Greetings everyone. Welcome to Scripting Table Talk where we dive into pressing topics, share faith stories, and study the word. Today I've got an important and timely discussion lined up for you. Christians and protests. Protesting in God's way. As believers, we are called to be a voice for justice and righteousness. But how do we do this in a way that aligns with God's principles? We'll be exploring biblical perspectives, sharing practical steps, and discussing how we can engage in social issues while reflecting Christ's love and peace. So grab your Bibles and join the conversation as we seek to understand and act according to God's will. You see, the world has been bombarded with protests here and there, people protesting against war, protests against LGBTQ, and our focus for today, protests against bad governance. Let's get started by turning to Micah 6 verse 8. He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Let's take a glance at some examples of the Bible on protest. Moses' demand for the Israelites' freedom from Pharaoh in Exodus 5.12. When I read, So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. Exodus 5.12 is one of the earliest recorded protests against oppression. And yes, the prophets were on team protest too. The prophet Amos spoke strongly against social injustices, calling out the exploitation of the poor and perversion of justice. In Amos 5.24, let's look at Amos 5.24, he declares, But let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty spring. Isaiah also addressed social injustices, emphasizing the need for genuine repentance. In Isaiah 1.17, he commands, Learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke your oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. We also have a perfect example, Jesus' act of cleansing the temple in Matthew 21.12-13. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. The scripture insults on speaking up. Proverbs 31, 8 to 9 says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all who are destitute, speak up and judge fairly, defend the rights of the poor and needy. These references illustrate that God's people have a long history of standing up against injustice and that such actions are rooted in biblical principles. You know, Jesus protested against the corruption and exploitation happening within God's house. Having established that, it's time to share the principles for protesting in God's way. We need to determine the motive and intent behind the protest. Is it to cause havoc? We wouldn't want that. Ensure that the protest is driven by love, justice, and a desire for righteousness, just like Jesus, not hatred or revenge. I'm backing it up with Romans 12. 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Follow the example of Jesus and the apostles who protested non-violently in Matthew 5, 9. And let's take a look at Romans 12, 18. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Seek God's guidance through prayer before engaging in any protest. Philippians 4, 6-7 Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 
and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. It's sacrosanct that you seek God's face, seek God's counsel before you embark on any protest. Your protest could actually be indoors. It could be via social media. Also, respect authorities while standing firm in faith. Romans 13, 1 to 2. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Don't go and slap or insult a police officer and expect to be patted on the back. Protest in unity with other believers, peaceful people, showing love and support for one another. Don't join hoodlums so you don't get locked up. Are you enjoying the conversation? Don't get tired now. It's time to share practical tips for Christians during protests. You know, you need to be educated, understand the issues at hand and the biblical stance on them. Participate, organize peaceful protests, rallies, or prayer walks that align with Christian values. Use social media, church platforms, and community gatherings to raise awareness about social injustices. Offer practical help and support to those who are directly impacted by the issues being protested. Another point, engage in constructive dialogue to foster understanding and change. In conclusion, as Christians, we need to stand up for justice in a manner that reflects God's love and righteousness. Be agents of change, not only through protests, but in your everyday actions and relationships. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you endure us with courage, wisdom, and peace as Christians navigate the complexities of social justices and protest in Jesus' name. Help us to reflect the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this important discussion on Christians and protest, protesting in God's way. We hope it has inspired and equipped you to stand for justice in a manner that honors God. If you have any questions or would like to continue this conversation, feel free to drop your comments in the box below and um, reach out to us on all our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Don't forget to join us for our next table talk. Until then, may God bless you and guide you.